Hello everyone and welcome to a really exciting Star Wars Old Republic video and I'm going to bring you guys some really awesome news about the new changes that we're going to be seeing to Galactic Command and CXP. So uh, this has recently been posted on the Dev Tracker and these are changes that are going to be applied in Game Update 5.1.1 coming February 7th. So only in a few days we're going to be seeing these hit Swotar and I think it's going to really deal with a lot of the major grievances that people have when it comes to earning CXP. So first of all, there's going to be a new CXP leveling event. Now this event is going to run from basically February 7th all the way until April when game update 5.2, the War for Iocath, hits Sotar. And during this event, all CXP earned will be increased by 250%. So Musco has basically probably tested this on the PTS and he has guaranteed us that we will be earning a command crate every 30 minutes of playing the game minimum. And that's for players who are Galactic Command Tier 3, where obviously it takes a lot more CXP to earn a crate. For those of us who are still Tier 1 and Tier 2, we're probably going to be earning it at a little bit of a faster rate, maybe every 15 to 20 minutes. So that is, I think, going to fix a lot of the gearing grievances people have, because right now I do rank PvP and I earn a crate every 45 minutes to an hour. And I play pretty religiously with that. So um, it's going to be great to see these changes because we're going to be getting gearing a lot quickly. Still doesn't deal with the fact that we aren't getting good stuff out of, out of the crates, but at least we'll be getting those crates a little bit more often, and hopefully we'll end up getting a few good drops from that. Also, to try to deal with the alt gearing problem, because sure, we might be er earning a lot of CXP on one character, what about our alts? So firstly, all CXP packs that you earn from drops and missions will now be bind on legacy. So for example, if you go kill a few dark versus light bosses, you get those CXP packs. Well, if you have enough CXP on that character, you can send those over to your tunes and try to redistribute the CXP that way. Still doesn't really fix the problem at all, but it is a step forward in the right direction, so I'm pretty happy with that. Finally, to try to deal with the alt gearing system, they are going to be introducing a new CXP boost to both the cartel market and the vendor that sells CXP boost for command tokens. So this isn't just a pay to win type thing, you can get this without paying money for cartel coins. This new CXP boost is going to give you a 100% boost to the CXP you earn. It will stack on everything else, so that 100% boost on top of the 250% for the event, on top of maybe your legacy perks and other bonuses, CXP is going to be flowing in left, right and center. So there's two kind of caveats. Firstly, obviously if you buy the CXP boost from the vendor rather than the cartel market, it's only going to last two hours, but the cartel market version will last three hours. Now it is going to be sellable on the GTN, but imagine what kind of price that's going to fetch. It's probably going to be very expensive. Uh, also, this boost only works until command rank 180. So it's basically specialized just for your alts. Once you hit over command rank 180, this boost will not work for you. So it's very much meant to either level up your alts or for players like me who haven't really hit tier 1 or haven't really hit tier 2 of command rank yet. So it's going to be pretty awesome to try to, you know, get that boost going and get CXP like crazy. So those are kind of the changes that we're seeing in terms of trying to fix our alt problem and just uh, earning more CXP. But another thing that they're doing is they're straight up increasing the rewards that we get for doing missions. And uh, one of the things that they've kind of focused on are the weekly. So the operation weekly, the group finder daily and weekly. And the point of that is to try to incentivize us to do other things to try to get CXP rather than just do that one thing that we like doing. Like for me, that would be doing PvP. So they will be rebalancing the CXP rewards that you earn from operations because they felt as though operations being the high, harder content in the game was not rewarding you enough CXP. And so they decided that boss kills will now award more CXP than they did previously. And the operation weekly has had its CXP reward greatly increased. So that's a pretty big buff because for operations, actually completing it and doing the weekly is giving you more CXP and just doing it in general, killing the bosses, killing the mobs and giving you more CXP. Secondly, the group finder daily CXP rewards are being added and completing the daily group finder bonus will award you with a bonus CXP pack because probably not enough people were doing group finder. Everyone that wanted to farm CXP were doing operations and ranked and stuff, but now they're kind of trying to get people to do this other content as well. And keep in mind the CXP pack that you earned will be bind on legacy so you can use it to gear up your alts as well. Finally, uh, the completion mission for Flashpoints have had their CXP values greatly increased and uh, Flashpoint CXP rewards were kind of below what they wanted and so they decided that they wanted to give us more CXP for actually completing the mission and then also the Flashpoint and Uprising weekly missions have had their CXP rewards increased as well because they wanted to encourage people to actually do the weeklies. And now here's one that I personally am really going to like and probably a lot of the PvP community is going to like this as well. The PvP daily and weekly missions right now are really weak because they only give you like a little box that gives you some crafting mats and then it gives you like non-existent CXP. 
So now they've decided that the PVP and weekly missions will now give you a batch of unassembled components. So I'm really happy about that because uh, unassembled components are just a great way to get some of the higher tier gear and so that's going to basically make PVP daily and weekly rewards a lot more rewarding. And then they've also increased the unassembled components that are awarded to players after completing ranked and unranked war zones. So I'm really happy about that once again because I do a lot of ranked PvP but I have not found that for the amount of time that I put into it I'm not really getting enough unassembled components out of it so it's nice to just straight, see this straight up buff that you play more war zones you get more unassembled components gonna get your gear a lot faster. So those are the major changes that we're going to be seeing coming this February 7th, so very very soon. I'm also really happy that they announced these changes right before they're going to actually give it to us because it would be pretty sucky for them to announce this and then be like, oh by the way you have to wait a month before the changes happen because then we're going to be sitting there going, well what's the point of you know grinding CXP now when we're going to get all these amazing changes a little bit later. But basically these changes are coming in a few days, get excited for them, get ready to start farming because now is the time to get your CXP up. Now in the future, they are going to be thinking about doing some more things to make it legacy because as I mentioned earlier, they have not solved the all problem whatsoever. They're just taking a few steps in the right direction. So they're going to be looking at making unassembled components legacy wide and other stuff along those lines, but they don't have any concrete information for that thus far. Moscow has also clarified that while this deals with the CXP problem, it doesn't really deal with the fact that crates don't give you anything good. So we might be earning crates left, right and center, but we're still getting those crappy green and blue stuff that we don't need and that we just keep disintegrating. So we said that they're going to be looking into that and they're going to be trying to make some substantial changes, but they don't have any information thus far. Right now, they're just kind of trying to deal with this CXP issue and I think they have done it to a large extent. Like they've introduced a system which they probably should have done all the way back when Kotet hit. Like this is what it always should have been. A system where we're, you know, sure we have the RNG element to gearing, but we're earning crates at such a fast rank that we don't really care. We're earning CXP left, right and center from about everything. That was really the system to go with. And it took a long time to, for them to get to this point. A lot of us needed to complain and, and on Reddit forums and a lot of people unfortunately left the game. But finally they've kind of added in a system where I'm not going to now be too disgruntled playing the game and earning CXP and getting command crates. So I do hope you guys enjoyed the video. I really hope you guys are excited for the changes. Let me know what you think in the comment section. I'm always interested to hear what the community thinks because sometimes the community thinks a lot differently than I do. Anyways, do hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.